HKM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we will preview the 2016 field hockey and girls volleyball teams. We have highlights from Hiller's soccer as they opened up their season versus Ashland and an at-home boys girls varsity doubleheader. Courtney will get you up to date with the many programs coming up on the HCAM channels plus much more. But first, here are some happenings in Hopkinton you should know about. Dell has been added to the EMC sign on South Street in Hopkinton. The $67 billion purchase of EMC by Dell was officially closed this week. This photo, courtesy of the Hillers Athletics Twitter account, is a shot of the Hillers Fall captains after taking part in leadership training. The program was put on by Core Training of Nashua. This summer, the Hopkinton Center for the Arts and the Hopkinton Upper Trails Trail Committee hosted the second annual Art on the Trail exhibit across the street from Hopkinton Lumber at the Center Trail. In case you haven't had a chance to make it down to the display, here's a look at the wonderful artwork on display. The artwork will be along the trail until September 25th. On September 18th at 2 p.m., a poetry reading along the trail will feature these pieces, adding another dimension to the Art on the Trail exhibit. During Poetry on the Trail, nearly 20 local poets, led by Pauli Brown and Cheryl Peralt, will tour the trail and respond to the artwork with original poems. To see more from the Hopkinton Center for the Arts and the Upper Charles Trail Committee Art on the Trail display, head over to our website, hcam.tv. The third annual bocce challenge took place at the Hopkinton Senior Center. Seniors as well as members of the Hopkinton Police Department and fire department competed against each other to socialize, have fun, and of course, try to capture this year's prestigious bocce challenge title. Getting that right on top of it. Yeah, look at that. Can't ask for a better shot. Oh, oh nice one. Well, we got rid of the weak links from last year, so we, we got plenty of good subs. Yeah, I, I know. I don't see those guys anymore. Are they on Midnights yeah. now? Yeah, he, he, we just send them on a detail. <laughs> there you go. Get them out of the way. All right, so uh, what, do, what do you think the uh, seniors' chances are here coming back? I don't know. They, they, look, they look real good this year. I think uh, they've been practicing. Oh. Whoa. They're just going for the shutout there. He needs a spot to, to win, I mean, to stay in the game. Silence across the bocce court. Oh, it curved oh. at the last minute. And the fire department wins 15-11. Victoria's first game. Yes. You guys are prepared for a second. I see half the department had to leave on a medical. Again, the cops must have uh, called something in. Yeah, they, they like to throw it off because yeah. they know they're going to face you at the end. You're watching them. What do you, you see anything here? No, I don't see anything. You don't see nothing? Nothing, nothing you, you guys are worried about? I'm not concerned about anything. No. 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 We'll uphold the title. like. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a that's a huge uh, trophy, that uh, bragging rights that you get to carry for the year. Oh, all year. Every call we go on, they, uh, they're upset about it. 
So fantastic. All right, so let's keep an eye on this match here. It's just getting underway, and uh, we'll be back and see you in game three. Perfect. Thanks, John. Bill with a toss. See if it curves back in, and there's the curve. He sees the hook. Barbara with a nice roll in the same spot. Looks like she's got uh, three points going right there. Oh boy. Chance for uh, three points here. Right in there. Oh, look at this. There you go. So they got it. There's the extra points. All you needed is one. They they only needed one, but they're gonna go for more points just to show that they did something for the team. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Oh boy. All right. And the police take game number two. Great job. Great job by seniors Mary Wise, Ruth Acosta, John Beal, and Barbara Sullivan. So we get the Lions Club doing yes, some cooking. Yeah, What's yeah. going on, OPEC? Well, we're just serving burgers and potato salad and hot dogs, and we were asked a little while ago to, to feed everybody. You can smell I, it over here. Yeah, it's really good. You guys, when you're done here, come on by. There should be plenty of burgers down. and yeah. dogs. So yeah, That's great. And the Lions Club put this on? Yep, Lions Club were asked to help out. So yeah, we were here with our green shirts on, yeah, ready to go. The, ready to go. And so. uh, a few things going on in town with the Lions Club. What's going on? Well, we got the Grocery Dash coming up on October 1st, and we're going to have the big drawing in a couple weeks, uh, September 20th. 21st. We're going to draw two winners at Price Chopper. And, uh, you know, the winners will have four minutes. Each will have four minutes to fill up their grocery cart with as many groceries as possible. So it's, we're looking forward to it. Then we have the community yard sale this weekend, Sunday, September 11th. Um, we're, we're advertising yard sales. And even if you, if you want us to post all your uh, items that are going to be for sale, it'll be on our website the night before, which will be this Saturday. Excellent. So, yeah, yeah, we're keeping pretty busy. So Guys are busy. The, the Lions Club is growing, you know, had, had a little new life uh, kicked into it. In uh, membership, people want to join, you just go to the Lions Club website. They'd love to have uh, you as a member. And uh, you guys are doing great work, as oh, always. Like, like, yeah, as always. That, yeah. So listen, um, cheeseburger medium. Okay? Yeah, cheeseburger medium. Yeah, okay. No pickles. Yeah, no pickles. You're good, Tom? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's all right. It's good. Thanks very much. Oh! That's too far. Oh! And the fire this wins it. The, the fire wins it. You win it. it. The fire wins it. Take a knee. Take a knee. Take a knee. What is he going to do here? Yeah. In the fire wow. are the champions. 16-14. They win it extra overtime. Second, second year in a row. That's special. And you topped it. You know, the new ladder truck was kind of nice, but that nothing beats this. I, I, just, I, I just don't know what to say. I, I noticed that you kept some firefighters by the apparatus to avoid tickets this year. Well, you know, we have to protect ourselves. Okay. You know, they're good neighbors, but. Yeah. <laughs> so so your, your team did a, a good job. And there we got Chief Lee. Chief. He's <laughs> under protest. Well, under protest. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I saw you helping with the measurements, but that wasn't no, enough to get you no, over. No, didn't work. Did it work? Tried kicking a ball and everything. So what are we going to do for next year? Got to train a little harder. Excellent. Maybe we'll uh, rake down the courts next year and fix it. <laughs> the bocce challenge was once again a lot of fun for all. Be on the lookout for the full bocce challenge airing soon on HCAM. Hiller's field hockey was back at practice at the Fruit Street Fields getting ready for the season. I recently caught up with the captains as well as head coach Joan Bannon. Hey, well, I started doing clinics when I was in eighth grade, no, when I was eight years old, so there's no teams until you're in eighth grade, so I played on the eighth grade team, and then my freshman year of high school, I've been on the varsity team since, and I was captain last year, and I'm captain this year again. Um, I started playing in eighth grade, and I made the varsity team as a sophomore, so I've been loving it and playing until right now. <laughs> Excellent. Hi. Uh, I don't know why I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, my whole family played field hockey, so I got into it young doing clinics. Played on the eighth grade teams on JV two years and varsity two years. Hopkinton Hillers field hockey is back at practice, and this year's team 
features an experienced squad. I think our team's looking great this year. We have 15 returning players and we have five new players. So we'll have a total team of 20, one's a goalie. And yesterday we had like a jamboree thing in Needham's where we played five 20 minute halves and we won four of them and lost one. So I think we're gonna have a great season. All right, terrific. What's your take on the team this year? Yeah, um, the team this year is really good. I think that with only five new players, it's like better because we have the stronger team from last year, and then we're only adding five new in. So it's like doing really well so far, and hopefully we come really far into the tournament this year. We only lost one um, starting player last year, so and one goalie. So we already have like a really good team chemistry going on. So I think that um, if we just continue that from last year, we should be really team. good. I think this team looks strong this year. Um, I was impressed we had a scrimmage yesterday. Our first game we had to get the jitters out I think and you know from then on in I thought we gelled as a team and the players seemed to work together nicely. What I have this year which I don't a lot of times have is a very strong bench as well so that will work out great. Not only do the Hillers have good experience on the field but also on the sidelines. I've been coaching varsity level for 11 years. Um, I've coached JV level two years prior to that. Um, and I've, one year on 2010, we won, 2008, we won states. So that was an exciting year for us. And our goal, my goal every year is to make tournament. I asked about some of the drills the team has been working on. Um, we do bas like basic skills. So we're working on the fundamentals of field hockey and then we build up to game-like situation so we can really get the basics down because you can never practice the stuff you learn first enough. Okay, do you have a favorite drill that you've been uh, working on so far? Um, I usually just like the shooting drills and just passing with the team, getting to know everybody. Um, we did a lot of running in the beginning of practice, but it helps us become stronger. So. All right, what about you? What are some of the things you're working on early on here? Um, I'm a big fan of like the hitting, passing drills. I think that's a really important part of the game, um, moving the ball around to being able to. Um, also, I think the game-like situations, we do like 3v2s, 2v1s, things like that. Those are really important, good to practice. Um, early on, uh, getting their passes down, getting, you know, we have to really learn how to play on turf because a lot of these girls didn't play on turf before. We were on grass and this year I think we're going to be always on turf. We have to work on their speed and their timing on the, on the drills. The Hillers will be making a transition this season to playing on artificial turf a lot more. I asked the coach what the major differences are between playing on artificial turf compared to grass. Uh, turf is so much smoother, so much more predictable and a lot faster, so you have to be in better condition. A lot more to come on HCAM News, including a look at the 2016 Hillers volleyball team, Hillers varsity boys and girls soccer highlights from the season opener, and Courtney will let you know about the many programs coming up on HCAM with the HCAM Insider. You're tuned in to HCAM News. Don't touch that dial. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Do you have what it takes? make a difference? Always an adventure. Police and fire working together. Utilizing the latest technology. Do you have what it takes? Welcome back to HCAM News. 
The Hillers volleyball team is also back at practice, getting ready for the season. The defending TVL champs feature a younger team this year, but have high hopes for the upcoming season. Yeah, so we both started playing volleyball in eighth grade, and we both got called up for the tournament team as sophomores. So we were part of the uh, state championship uh, year. So it was a really good opportunity, and yeah, we, we love playing volleyball. Last year, the Hillers girls volleyball team came off of winning the Division II state title and advanced to the semifinals before losing at a tough Westboro team. Westboro went on last season to lose in the state finals against Notre Dame High School. The Hillers lost a good amount of experienced players to graduation last year, but this season featured two multi-sport athlete captains and a strong athletic team. Uh, yeah, so we were both chosen uh, captain as captains this year. So uh, we, our role is to get everyone hyped up and lead the team, make sure everything's organized, and yeah. So. All right, how's the team looking this year? Um, considering that we've only been playing for a few days and the amount of scrimmages and time we've put in, we're looking really w great, and we've set a lot of high goals this year to possibly go to the state, be state champs again. <laughs> All right, uh, what are some of the drills you've been working on here in these practices? Yeah, we've done a lot of scrimmaging so far, so just seeing different opponents and trying to figure some stuff out. But So we haven't had many actual practices, but in practice we're definitely working on all coverages and hitting and everything to make sure that we're ready for our big game against Ashland on Wednesday. Excellent. And I understand some young players on the team. How's the uh, team chemistry going so far? Um, it's going awesome. We do a lot of stuff outside of the gym, like going out to eat and stuff, so our bonding's going really well. <laughs> and we're headed to the Cape this weekend for a long weekend sleepover yeah. thing, so that will be a really good bonding experience. But so far, very, very good. Nice way to kick off the season. Yes, definitely. Um, hey guys, this is the 2016 uh, varsity volleyball team. We challenge all our super fans to come to our games, all our games. Our first home game is Wednesday, so be there. 6.30. Uh, shout out to the Hopkinton High School Band. We'd hope to see you at one of our games this season. We love you. Yeah. And uh, two, three, two, one. Hillers Don't forget, you can see all Hillers Volleyball home games live right here on HCAM. And you can follow along with the team on our website, HCAM.TV. Hillers soccer kicked off the 2016 season on Wednesday, September 7th, with a boys-girls varsity doubleheader at Hopkinton High School versus Ashland. In case you weren't able to take in the action, here's a look at the highlights. The Hopkinton Hillers varsity soccer teams both took on Ashland in a boys-girls varsity doubleheader over at Field 13. First half, Ben Fargiano gets the ball off a corner kick and gets things started right. Kick into the box. Hillers in control, the turnaround shot and it's a goal! Ben Fargiano makes it one nothing Hillers. Later in the first half, Dan Paleko on a free kick. Michael Puvaka makes it count. Into the box, the header, and it is in. A goal for the Hillers. Michael Puvaka with the header to make it two to nothing. Second half, Ryan Branch on the corner, Duncan Schnorr. With the header, the header is up and to the right side of the net and in. It is three to nothing. Hiller is a great header by Duncan Schnorr. Later in the second half, Andrew Paleko adds insurance. Up the sideline and a miss by the defender. Andrew Paleko with a look. And Paleko turns around the shot and it's in. Andrew Paleko, the sophomore forward, makes it 4 0 Hillers. The Hillers boys take the game 4 0 over Ashland and start off the season 1 0. Some great experiences back for the Hillers boys, and in game one, they looked great on both sides of the ball. 
Hiller's girls took on Ashland in the second game of the Varsity Soccer doubleheader. Scoreless game in the second half until Kaylee Hennessy had a corner kick attempt. On the free kick. Right into the box. An opportunity here. That one's on the ground and in. Goal, Ashland. Elena Pellegrini, the sophomore, on the first goal of the game. Sophomore Elena Pellegrini puts in the goal. And that would be all the Ashland Clockers needed as they took the 1-0 victory in the season opener for both teams. The Hillers had some good opportunities and dominated possession time in the second half, but some great goaltender play by Ashland's Olivia Green helped the Clockers come away with the win in their first game of the season. Live on HCAM, Hillers Volleyball also opened up their season with a home court win against Ashland and other Hillers sports openers on September 7th. The boys and girls cross country teams as well as the field hockey team opened the season with wins over Bellingham. Be sure to stay tuned to our website HCAM.TV for the latest Hillers sports information. Believe it or not, school is back in session which means we will have a whole lot of programming coming up on HCAM. To fill you in with what to expect on the HCAM channels, here is Courtney Taylor with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Saturday, September 10th at 1.30 p.m., the Hillers volleyball team faces the Clockers in their first home game. On Monday, September 12th at 7.30 p.m., Superintendent Dr. Kathy McLeod and Jim Cousins discuss what it takes for the schools and staff to be ready for a new school year on Highlights from the Hill. There's a subject matter leader expert for each department within the high school, and some of them extend to responsibilities that include the middle school as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they all get together in the summer and they spend a couple of days planning for the upcoming year. On Tuesday, September 13th at 6.45 p.m., the Board of Selectmen meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Sunday, September 18th at 10 a.m., the Planning Board meeting from September 12th will air. To find out more about all of our HCAM shows, head on over to hcam.tv connect where you can subscribe to our HCAM Insider Newsletter. Or you can find out about events happening in town by signing up for our daily news updates. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. Thank you, Courtney. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Right now on our website, you can view the latest news on Hiller Sports and also some great events coming up soon in Hopkinton. If there is a photo, video, or story idea you would like to share with us, feel free to email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care and thank you for watching HCAM. HCAM is supported by our viewers and by Blackstone Valley Wealth Management, providing highly personalized financial planning, wealth management, and customized solutions through transparent, unbiased advice. Visit us at BlackstoneValleyWealth.com. Open door.